Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing tonight? Hope you guys are comfortable. Because I think we're in for a... I wouldn't say a long night. But this mod that I'm going to be testing out is going to take a lot out of me. <laughs> so if you guys are not aware... Uh, the Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition has finally been released on the new platforms with new uh, with new features and stuff that for some stupid reason Capcom is not going to give us PC gamers because, you know, we're too cool for that shit. But thanks to one wonderful person by the name of the Hitchhiker, he's been he's been gifting us these wonderful mods. <laughs> and honestly, you guys should follow him. Um, I left uh, info on his... Uh, I left the links for his channels on my description on YouTube. So go check it out. His stuff is great. He's the one that created the Strive mod for Devil May Cry 5. And it's honestly one of the best mods that I have experienced. Adding in really cool functions that you see in a Guilty Gear. But implemented into Devil May Cry. Being able to perform Roman cancels and shit, that is phenomenal. It's probably like the best thing that I have experienced. And I wish we had more action games that had that sort of function. Let me make some adjustment to the microphone. Let me know if my mic sounds too high or too low. I'm always doing so much adjustments here. Like, I don't know why I'm never happy with how things turn out. <laughs> Uh, but that's usually the burden when I'm always readjusting my microphone's position. But yes, absolutely, follow the hitchhiker. I remember when I saw the Strive mod for the first time, my mind was blown. But, dude, hitchhiker, I'm still waiting on that Calamity Trigger mod. <laughs> Give me magnetic powers for Nero. I want to be Tager. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for this mod, uh, this mod is going to be available to the public this coming Monday. What I'm actually going to be playing is the early beta version, I believe. This is the demo version, which means that I'm not able to... Well, actually, no, let me make it clear. This is a um, a standalone uh, mod. It's not combined with any of the other mods that Hitchhiker has made. So as a result, I cannot use this in combination with some of the previous mods. So I'm going to be playing vanilla Devil May Cry 5, but with the legendary Dark Knight setup. And yeah, you're just going to be seeing a fuck ton of enemies spawn. And honestly, it's a lot of fun. I really, really hope that at some point Capcom realizes that it's kind of important to include these things for the PC audience. You know? I have no idea why they are ignoring us. And don't give me this shit about, oh, it's because the people have been modding these characters into the game so Capcom is going to ignore them. Nah, man. That's stupid. You know, if there's one thing that I've learned from companies like Valve is that you're supposed to embrace the modding community because that's how you grow this bigger culture. It's why we have games like Left 4 Dead and Portal, you know what I mean? With Capcom neglecting us because people just enjoy modding, it just means that you're discouraging people from being creative. And that's not a good thing. Yeah, no turbos, sadly. Okay, so first of all... Actually, no, first off... I'm going to be playing Legendary Dark Knight with uh, with Nero first. And then after I'm come after I'm done with Nero, then I'll start goofing around with Dante and they're both a lot of fun to play with when it comes to just mowing down a large amount of enemies on screen. And luckily my computer is powerful enough to handle that. Although there's a chance that the game will crash. So if that happens, well <laughs> I'm going to put a penalty on you hitchhiker. Three strikes and you're out. 
but the good thing about this mod is that you can control how many enemies you want on screen. By default, you can set it to 30 and you can go up to as high as 50. Now, when I was testing out this mod, I was pushing my limits at 50 and I've had the game crash on me twice as a result. So I decided to bring it down to 40 and after playing the game for about a good 6 or 10 hours or so, um, I had no issues with 40 enemies. So yeah, I'll be messing around with 40 enemies on screen. But then just for shits and giggles, I'll set it to 50 like before I finish the stream and then once it crashes, then the stream is over. <laughs> That's how I'll do it. As for V? Uh, I'm sorry to say this, but I, I really don't find V fun. But if you guys want me to play as V, I don't mind doing it. I'll mess around with V, just I don't play as V that much. So you're going to see some terrible gameplay out of me if I start messing around with him. All right, so Legendary Dark Knight it is with Nero on Mission 7. Let's see, uh, let's customize uh, my loadout. Yeah, you have to embrace the modders. The modders are really cool. I've seen some amazing Resident Evil mods. I've seen some very lewd Resident Evil mods that have made me, um question whether I should follow the uh, the No Nut November uh, holiday event. Let's leave it at that. So much fun. You can follow if you want. Hasn't crashed yet. So far, so good.
Oh, wrong way. God damn it. God, this camera can sometimes be pretty whack. So far, no issues. The game is holding up with 40 enemies so far. Honestly, I can't wait to use this uh, mod with Strive combined. That shit is going to be a amazing. And hopefully when the Virgil DLC does get released uh, for the PC, um, these mods can work with that Virgil. That's gonna be a lot of work for a Hitchhiker, I assume. Gotta push on ahead. A co-op with Virgil, that would be great. It would be amazing if we could have co-op with the same characters. Okay. Just imagine two Virgils. Yeah. Gee, Billy! Your mod lets you use two Virgils? I sure hope so.
Sam! Oh, it's so cool doing these moves. fun with this mod a lot I mean about as much fun as I can have with the vanilla DMC even though DMC 5 is very watered down compared to 4 I still have a lot of fun creating combos with this game which is a lot more than I can say for Bayonetta 2 <laughs> yeah, it does feel like a Musu. Holy shit. Oh my god, this camera! Please work with me, camera! Oh yeah, no, 4 is super deep. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to say that 5 is pretty deep too. At least deeper than m your average action game. But not anywhere close to, uh, I guess maybe 3? Because 5 does give you so much options for comboing. It's just that doing combos is pretty easy in general. There's not a lot of technical precision that you really need to be doing. I mean, it's pretty fucking easy to stay in the air in this version of the game. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that, but it's, uh, it's almost as bad as, um, hmm. I guess like, you could say it's bad as DMC Devil May Cry, but I don't even want to badmouth that game, because that game can be pretty good, especially when you play the, the Definitive Edition. Which is also not available on PC, what the fuck?
Oh, I know who Smoke is. Or SSS Smoke, however you want to pronounce it. I sometimes chat with him on our Discord. I'm surprised I was able to hit him. Damn it. Oh, if it's buffering, um, you might want to switch over to Twitch because I hear that YouTube's having problems with streaming. I just realized that was Devil Never Cry who posted that message. How are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm not paying attention to who's actually saying what. It's not a bad game at all. Like, I will never say DMC Devil May Cry is, like, bad. Because that was the very first Devil May Cry game I played. And it was what introduced me to the magical world of Devil May Cry in general. And I, my first one was the Definitive Edition. So, you know, like, at least I, I started off on the right foot. Of course, as I started playing throughout the entire series, I realized there are better options. But, I mean, it's not like... It's not like um, DMC Devil May Cry is that bad. It's just, yeah, it, it it does some things that can turn some people off, especially the hardcore Devil May Cry fans. I totally understand. It's like the black sheep of the franchise. Hey, Gothic Girl, what's going on? Thanks for catching the stream. Wow, there's a lot of people coming in tonight. Thank you all so much. I don't usually get this many people coming in to watch the stream, so, you know, I must be doing something right. Either that, or maybe I should just be playing Devil May Cry instead of Bayonetta. I should just drop Bayonetta and Wonderful 101 and just focus on being the Devil May Cry guy, right? Nah. <laughs> There's gotta be someone who's gotta represent Wonderful 101, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ah, Virgil, baby! I actually am surprised about this. This is really fucking cool. Right. 
See, the thing about Devil May Cry 2 is that it doesn't exist. So you can't call it what it is when it doesn't exist. Rocket Worm! Oh god! I have not heard from you in forever! How's it going? Uh, listen, I've been checking out uh, the coloring for the Earthworm Jim uh, book, the, the new one coming up. Your coloring is absolutely phenomenal as always. Guys, if any of you guys really love Earthworm Jim, I highly recommend you follow Rocket Worm. She does some incredible drawings. And I really should get back to drawing myself. It's been forever since I've drawn. Ah, here comes Doppelganger. <laughs> My skills with fighting against Virgil is kind of crappy, so forgive me. <laughs> We should totally get an action-oriented Earthworm Jim game. It would totally work. He's already got the guns, he's already got the whip, he's already got his rocket. Platinum Games, listen to me. Make an Earthworm Jim video game. I command you. No, this, this arena is amazing, man. The background moving about and all that shit. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. You know, it's kind of like those beat-em-up games where you're fighting on an elevator. Except this is not an elevator. It's an entire freaking opera area that's going down the cliff. Also, this song is just so fucking badass. Ah, I wanted to dodge out. I'm gonna die. Horribly. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> I swear, I actually was able to fight and kill this dude in an earlier playthrough. Ah, oh, he's bringing out Doppelganger again, oh boy.
Oh, damn, not again. <laughs> Man, if I had the op if I had the mod so that I could play as Dante, I probably would be, would be doing a much better job. Oh god, this camera! Please work with me, camera! There we go. Look, this arena is incredible. Like, if we ever get another Marvel vs. Capcom game, this needs to be Dante's stage. Or Nero's stage if, you know, Capcom decides that Nero should be playable in a 2D fighting game. Of course, since I died several times, I still walk away with an S rank for some reason. <laughs> okay, so that was a taste of uh, Nero's mission. But now I really want to show you guys how Dante works with Legendary Dark Knight mode. Yeah, there hasn't been any info about Bayonetta 3, but I wouldn't worry too much. Like, I'm very, very patient. Like, in general, I'm a very patient person. I'm not the kind of person that gets anxious about anything. Because it's one of those where it's like, hey, this game's going to come out in five or six years. Eh, come on, I got other games to mess around with. I know there are people that are dying to know more about Bayonetta 3. And I am curious. And I'm a little worried about, you know, why we've had such a long period of time without any information. But I can chalk that up to Nintendo just being Nintendo, because they really love announcing games so early and then leaving us in the dark for such a long time. I mean, look what happened to uh, Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem. They announced that game like four years ago, five years ago, before we finally found out that it was going to be, um, um, what's that game called? You know, that weird crossover game that came out on the Wii U. Hashtag Fee. I always call it Hashtag Fee because that's what it looks like on the box art. Um... But yeah, I'm in no rush. I totally get why people are impatient, though. I get it. I'm not saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little anxious. But, you know, it's also fair to just relax and realize that Platinum Games are pretty busy. One of the big things that they were trying to do this year was move into a new office building. You know, it was part of their Platinum 4 announcement. You know, in an effort to be a standalone studio so they could self-publish games. But because of this whole coronavirus thing... I'm, I, I can definitely say that, you know, they're being held back by uh, that sort of thing. Oh, and No More Heroes. I really should play No More Heroes. I have never played that game. Yeah, there we go. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which is TMS. When you flip that, it's SMT, which is Shin Megami Tensei, which is actually a really nice touch if you've never noticed that before. But yeah, um, what I wanted to say was, like, I have never played No More Heroes. Uh, I have a friend who is obsessed with No More Heroes, and he's always telling me, I gotta play it, I gotta play it, and I should, right? <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind playing that game. I, I wouldn't mind streaming it either. If you guys are interested in watching me play that, I, I actually wouldn't go out of my, I actually wouldn't mind going out of my way to buy the game and just do a fun little stream and see what's all the hullabaloo about that game. Especially with No More Heroes 3 on Horizon. Okay, so now we're going to watch some Dante gameplay. And this is where things get really crazy. Because you know how all the crazy moves Dante can do. Most of which I probably won't end up pulling off because I'm not that amazing. Alright, here we go.
Ah, damn it. Dead. There we go. I got it under control. It took me a bit, but I'm getting the flow now. Unfortunately, I did not do quadruple S correctly, so now I gotta wait for this meter to go down. There we go. And mind you, this is with 40 set up. I would love to show you guys 50. That's that's a girl, not a boy. Oh, 
Oh crap! Once again I messed up the quadruple S. Oh well, this gives me a chance to just go absolute ham I suppose. Very nice. Woo! <laughs> what fun. I'm already having a lot of fun here. I mean, what, what could you offer me, lady, that would be more fun than fighting a bunch of enemies, hmm? I wonder if you're compensating for something. Holy cow, look at all that nonsense. Let's see if I can get them all. I can't see shit, Captain!
Gotcha! Nice! Oh my god, this is so much fun. How are you guys holding up, by the way? Wow. Oh, you gotta get going? Well, you have a good night. And also, I hear you were sick. So, get well soon, buddy. Tomorrow's another day. Nice. Yeah, man, there were four of them. <laughs> oh, boy. No crashes so far, but keep in mind my computer is pretty good. I do have crashes when I set the Legendary Dark Knight mod to 50 enemies. So, you know, just for shits and giggles. Just before I finish, um... Just before I finish, uh, streaming this, I'm gonna crank the mode up to 50 enemies and if at any point it crashes then the stream is done if you want to check my specs since you're on twitch check my about section i put my my computer specs there
God, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is the kind of nonsense that Capcom seems to be neglecting the PC audience. Again, thank you, Hitchhiker, for making this shit. This is incredible. Come on, boy. You know you want to hit me. Oh, wow. My royal guard is terrible. <laughs> Come on, hit me. What the fuck is up with my timing? Okay, fuck this. <laughs> there. Pure skills. I have my spawn count at 40 enemies so far. At 50, it tends to crash. Not all the time, it's just one of those out of the blue moment kind of things. Alright, here we go. This is a wide open area for us to fight these crazy enemies.
Not fucking with you. Oh, you're out, last Gogeta? We'll have a good one. <laughs> I think there's a delay on the chat room. Oh well. No biggie. <laughs> Mod is great. I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh god! That was a bad move! <laughs> No crashes so far. Oh, Mission 7 was a lot of fun. I admit I died several times to Virgil, but the fight is fun no matter what. Once again, I admit that I am not good at video games, but I enjoy playing them just the same. Gotcha. Overall, man, this mod is incredible. Like, it, it's, it seems to be holding up just fine. No crashes, no hiccups, everything's running fine. I should stress that I'm also running the game at 720p. And I'm not doing that because I need the extra juice or anything. That's usually the resolution that I, that I stream at. 
I do it that way so that there's not too much CPU usage when running OBS. Plus, at 720p, I can play the game on in windowed mode, which lets me view the chat and the health of my uh, of my internet connection. So yeah, keep that in mind. Wait, which way am I supposed to go again? Ah, yeah, that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure graphics may not have too much of an impact, but it's worth noting that that's the resolution that I'm at currently. Which, you know, I'm pretty sure that if you were to crank this shit up at 4K, it may be a problem. I only have- I have one personal Discord, but that's from my group of friends. Uh, but if you want to just chat with me in some of the Discords that I have created for the public, I do have a wonderful 101 uh, Discord. You could check that out in the YouTube description uh, down below. You can also check it in the Twitch description in the About section. I do have the link for my wonderful 101 Discord group. You can also uh, join me... Not join me. You could join the uh, the Devil May Cry Reddit, the Reddit May Cry Discord group. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a link for that when you go to our DMC or our Devil May Cry. Uh, I can be found there. I can also be found in the Crazy Discord group. Uh, go on Twitter and look up Crazy, which is C U H R A Y Z E E. Uh, you'll find the link for that Discord group. That is a Discord group dedicated to talking about. All things action-oriented video games from Bayonetta to Wonderful 101 to Devil May Cry. So you can find me there. Um, and if you just want to DM me, yeah, find me in those Discord groups and I'll shoot you the information on how I have my OBS set up. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but, you know, like, I I've had to learn a lot from everybody. I've been asking this person, that person. I also watch videos online and I'm just trying to learn, you know, how to have a good presentation for you guys. My PC specs, um, oh damn, I should really put my PC specs in my, my YouTube description because if you can jump over to my Twitch, uh, my, my Twitch channel, which you can find in the description and in my Twitch about section, you'll see my PC specs. Oh crap, I let go too soon. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be insane. God, it feels so good to sweep them away and I'm about to get hit. Oh, wait. Just skip it, skip it. Come on, everybody, let's have some fun. Ah, crap, come on. Oh god, I hate that delay on the jump cancel. Now that's a great way to end the fight. Oh, I love this game. Flaws and all. Although I could do without the flaws and make it a lot, whole, whole lot better. Still, I'll take this game over Bayonetta 2. Oh yeah. I'm feeling it. No! My bitches are getting hurt! You can't do that to them! Only I can do that! Actually, they came, that came out wrong. Anyway! God, freaking ladies' night! I can only imagine what that could have been. I don't mean anything inappropriate. What I mean to say is I like having fun. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, Furious Malik, how's it going, dude? Holy shit, no way. No way! It cr <laughs> dude, it crashed. That's a penalty, dude. Strike one. 
I didn't even get to set it to to um fifty enemies. What's going on here? Hold on a sec. Let's launch the game again. <laughs> um, why am I being harsh with Bayonetta 2? Listen, you're gonna have to get used to one thing about me. I don't like Bayonetta 2. Okay? <laughs> I can sit here and give you a two-hour explanation on why I think Bayonetta 2 is bad. Actually, no, I take it back. It's not a bad game, but it's certainly not better than one. You know? And strictly speaking, when I say it's worse than one, what I'm talking about is the combat mechanics is worse than one. Because, my god, um, they freaking nerfed the hell out of Bayonetta in part two. Like, her regular tools are awful. And they did this because they wanted people to use the Umbran Climax, which is her new overpowered ability. And I don't have a problem with Umbran Climax, but I do have a problem with the fact that to get to do all the really cool stuff in Bayonetta 2, you're limited to having to use the Umbran Climax, which just feels like a time limit for you to do all the crazy shit you can already do in the in the first place in the first game. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's the short version of why I don't like Bayonetta 2, but... I don't really want to start complaining about Bayonetta 2 forever, okay? Just just understand, I like jabbing Bayonetta 2 a lot, okay? <laughs> Bayonetta 2 is a is like my punchline for a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not a it's not a set stream unless I'm not it's not a set stream if I'm not trash talking Bayonetta 2. <laughs> <laughs> and honest to God, I am very jealous of the Devil May Cry community because the Devil May Cry community is so passionate about the high level stuff. You, you can tell that the mods that you, you see here for Devil May Cry 5 is all crafted because of the passion that people have when it comes to playing like, like playing the game at a high level the way you could in 4. And I wish we could have that kind of community for Bayonetta. Unfortunately, Bayonetta doesn't have that kind of community. There is a modding community, but it's mostly about tweaking the visuals and tweaking costumes. I know I've been talking to Creative Handle before about how, you know, there should really be gameplay changes if possible. And the most we can really do is manipulate certain things like making sure the enemy doesn't die so that you can practice your combos stuff like that they're mainly just trainer stuff but oh god mm. i really wish we had that kind of group you know the funny thing is the animated gamer i actually originally tried to make a video essay discussing my views on bayonetta 2 and to be honest uh as i as i went through like six script changes for the video and I ended up not feeling it because if I'm going to do a Bayonetta 1 versus 2 video, I really want to play the devil's advocate and talk about the good merits between both games because there are good things about Bayonetta 2. I'm not going to say everything about that game is bad. They do do a lot of quality of life changes. The visuals are great. Um, the animation is phenomenal. The enemy designs are pretty good. But that's not enough to sustain Bayonetta 2 when you're looking at it from a high level play. If you're a casual gamer and, and you didn't understand heads or tails about Bayonetta 1, you're probably going to enjoy 2 a lot more. You know, and, and I'm trying my best to like look at it from both views, but the more I read the script, the more it just sounds like I I'm being too nitpicky. And it's really hard to come across as a person who's not nitpicky, but rather someone who's extremely passionate maybe i'm writing it wrong maybe i'm just I, I i need like i'm definitely gonna need someone outside of my bubble to read it and tell me if it sounds arrogant or not anyway I, i've already gone off on a tangent about bayonetta what the f what, what is bayonetta we're, we're here to play devil may cry baby I'm, I'm not gonna bore you guys with my complaining 
Not when we have Dante with slick moves and a million enemies on screen. Wait a minute. Did I, um... Hold on. Okay, yeah, okay, the trainer's on. Ah, come on! Ah, so much fun. I mean, yeah, I know YouTubers make it, make it, um... Let me, hold on, let me read that correctly. I live for drama. Some YouTubers have made hobbies out of, out of it for fun. Complain away. One day, one day I'll make a really good comparison video. But right now, what I want to focus on is creating tutorials for Wonderful 101. I'm in the middle of writing a script, um, where I explain how the um, the ranking system works in wonderful 101 because that seems to be the biggest problem that people have with that game they don't understand what it takes to get a high rank and i have been spending some time calculating the numbers to see what goes into getting a high rank Oh, damn! I forgot that they could reach that. <laughs> Yeah! Resort! 
Damn. Nice. I think we're not getting Bayonetta till 2022. Um, yeah, I I can believe that. <laughs> Although I'm, I want to say we'll probably start hearing information sometime in 2021, but that's me with high hopes. I'm not a fan of ruins. Like my city's life. Oh, you're out, Helio Knight. Well, you have a good night, dude. Thanks for stopping on by. Regardless, it's always a pleasure to have you guys here.
Just gotta take it down. Oh, damn. It actually does not replace Dante Must Die. I believe it replaces... Um... Wow, I actually forgot. Hey, Hitchhiker, if you hear, uh, can you answer that? I know it's not Dante Must Die that replaces it. Or the other way around, I mean. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this.
Very nice. Woo! So much fun! I can't get enough of this. We go, I suppose. Seems like that may have sounded like I'm being sarcastic, but no, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. This is just... Yeah, holy cow, man. Can't wait until I can use this with the Strive mod. Oh crap. Oh boy. I did not mean to do quadruple S there because it wasn't a quadruple S. But I'll clear out the room anyway. Nice.
Like you just had your ass handed to you. What would you say is your best game? What do you mean by that? Like, what do I think is what do I think is my the best game I've played, or a game that I'm the best at? Because I can tell you right now, the game that I know I'm really good at, and I never mess up when I play it. Well, okay, maybe not never, but I'm semi flawless. Is wonderful 101 followed by uh, Bayonetta and then that's it I suck at Devil May Cry and uh, yeah God, it takes forever to lift this guy to the air. There we go, yeah. Hey, come on. So fun. <laughs> Can a guy get a break? I just woke up from a long ass nap. All right, let me fight these dudes before moving on to the boss. Yeah. 
Oh god, this camera is awful! There we go. Oh wow, it's like an, it's, it never ends. And honestly, that's what makes it so much fun. Just an ongoing array of enemies. It's kind of like playing Gears of War Horde mode. Oh, they're just gonna let me through. Boy, wouldn't that be the day. Not for my most favorite boss battle out there, man. This guy is so much fun to fight against. Ah, damn. I messed up the triple S. Let's make this count.
Oh, 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 it's gonna end! Ah! Ah, it's so much fun. I think we're gonna end it on a good note here. I think I'm done for tonight. As much as I want to continue playing this game, I am a bit tired and I need some rest. I haven't been sleeping too well for the past few days, but I'm in a good mood. So I'll use that good mood to have a good night's sleep. But listen, I want to make it very clear right now. I am thankful for all you guys who decided to stop on by and watch the stream. You guys are the best. Suffering defeat after defeat. That man. Seriously, like I do, I do appreciate all of you guys who decide to step in and watch this, you know? So like, I thank you all a lot. Like PokeFan Games, thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much, Rocket Worm, for coming in here. Like special thanks to you, because I, I think you're the best. Also, I saw Devil Never Cry come in. You are awesome. Hitchhiker, absolutely, you're the best for creating this amazing mod, and I thank you so much for letting me try out the early version before we see the full version coming out this Monday. And for those of you who stuck around to watch this, if you are planning... Actually, no, let me take that back. If you have the PC version of Devil May Cry 5, there is no reason for you to miss out on such an amazing mod. And if you don't have a PS... Uh, I should say, if you don't have a PC version... Uh, at the very least, you can enjoy playing this game if you got the newer consoles, because I know PS5 and Series X, yeah, they, they're the ones that officially have the Legendary Dark Knight mod. Not the mod, the official Legendary Dark Knight. What the hell am I saying, you know? <laughs> uh, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you all so much. I'll be going now. You guys have a good night. See you later. As always, stay wonderful.